Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to use surface tools in FreeCAD to connect three cylindrical objects arranged in different positions. To achieve this, we will use the main surface workbench available in FreeCAD, the curves and surface workbench. If you don't have one of them installed in your FreeCAD program, you can use the add-on manager to install it. Okay, let's open the FreeCAD program. Okay, let's go. I'm on the start page of FreeCAD 1.0.1 and I'm going to create an empty document by pressing empty file option. I will use the part workbench to create my first 3D objects in the document. I will click in workbench selector and select part workbench. I will click in cylinder icon. As you see here, I have my first 3D object in the 3D view. Uh, next, I'm going to select the cylinder in the tree view and go to its radius property and change to 10 millimeters. Click off and press home on the keyboard. Now, I'm going to create copies of the cylinder. For that, I will select the cylinder and press Ctrl C and now Ctrl V two times to pass the 3D objects in this document. Now, I'm going to select the cylinder 001 and right click, transform. Change to front view, zoom out here and move this object up 40 millimeters as you see in the transition increment. Uh, now I will rotate this to the left, 40 millimeters to the left and OK. Now I will select the cylinder 002, right click and go to transform option. And press on here, change to right view and now I move this object 40 millimeters up and Rotate to the right and now I move in this direction and OK. Home on the keyboard and the next thing that I will do is to change the radius of two cylinders here. I will select this cylinder, the face of this cylinder, go to its properties and change the radius to 20 millimeters. I will close the start page. Now I select this cylinder and change its radius to 15 millimeters and enter. OK, now I have this. And the next steps will happen in the covers workbench. So I'll change from part to covers workbench. I will click in here, workbench selector, and select the covers workbench. To achieve this result here, I will use three workbenches. I will use the part workbench, the covers workbench, and the surface workbench. If you don't, if you don't have any of these workbenches installed in your free card program, you can install it going to tools and click on Atom Manager and install the workbench from here. Okay, I will change to Covers Workbench. Uh, next, I'm going to add points to the bottom edge of these cylinders. Before I do that, I will add transparency to these all cylinders. I will select this face here of this cylinder, hold Ctrl key, this face, this face and press and press V plus T on the keyboard and now I have these as you can see. Now I will select this bottom edge of the cylinder object and click on this tool here. Discretize, click on it. And now as you can see, I have several points around this circular edge of this, of this cylinder here. Okay, I will do the same in this cylinder. I will select this edge and click on this tool here. And now this edge here and click on this tool. Okay, now that I have these all points, what I'm going to do is to reduce the points to four points. For that, I will select these three objects in the tree view and, and go to properties. I go to number and I change to four and enter here. Okay, as you can see, I have four points in each edge. I will select these three objects and go to view and point size and I will set 10 here. Now you can easily see that I have four points in each edge. Okay, I will go back to data. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is to create segments in a surface of this cylinder. I will select this surface here and then click on these two. I think it's these two here. I will click on its icon and as you can see I have this. I will select this surface and click on this tool and the same thing for this surface here. I click on this tool. Okay, as you can see now I have these segments here. And next I'm going to hide all cylinders. 
for that I will hold the control key select this face this one here and this and press spacebar as you can see I have two surfaces here I want to delete this line here to do that I will select the segment surface and go to its properties here in the V duration I will change the number V to 1 and now I have this and my intention is to add segments in this duration here so I will select the segment surface of this object and go to your duration I will add a reference for this duration for that I will click in this space here click in these three dots and now I will select this object here, discretize that edge, and now I press OK. And now to see the segments, I will refresh the document, and now as you can see, I have this. OK, I will do the same for these two segments of face here. I will select this one here and change here to 1. And now I go to this space, click on these three dots, and select this discretize that edge 001 object and intro refresh the document and now I have these four surface here now I select the segment surface 002 I change here to 1 I click in the space three dots and now I select this object and OK and now refresh the document and as you can see I have these all surface here so each cylinder object here have four surfaces now what I want to do is to add a surface between this edge here and this one here. To do that I will use this tool here of covers or bench. To use this tool here I have to select four objects. I have to select two edges and two surfaces. For example I will hold the control key and select this edge here. This will be the edge one and this surface here will be the surface one. And now on this object, I will select this edge and now this surface here. I have the edge 2 here and the surface 2 here. And now I click on this tool and I have this as you can see. Now I will select this edge, hold control key, this face, and now I will select the edge 2 and the surface 2. And now click on this icon and I have this. Now I will select this edge, this surface, and next this edge and this surface here and click on and click on this icon and I have this. Okay, and now to fill this space here, I'm going to use a specific tool that is available in the surface workbench. I will change to surface workbench, zoom in here and click in the first tool. Filling tool and now I'm going to select the edges of the space here in sequence. I will select this edge, this one here, and next to this edge, this edge, now this edge, and this edge here. And as you can see, now I have the surface here. I will press OK and now I will rotate the view this way and zoom in here and I will try to fill the space also. So I will call the filling tool, the boundaries tool. I will select this edge, now this one here, and this edge, this edge, this edge here, and next this edge. Okay, and I will press OK, and as you can see, I have this. We have small problems, as you can see. Okay, next, I will fill this space here. To do that, I will call this tool again and select this edge, this one, this edge, and this edge. And as you can see, I have this. I press OK here and I go to the side of the model. I call the tool again and next I select this edge, this edge, this one, and this edge here, and now I press OK. Okay, I rotate the view again, and now I call the tool again and I select this edge, this this and this edge and okay as you can see now this model is a closed model okay but it's not uh, solid as you can see this is a set of surfaces so my next operation is to convert these all surfaces to a parametric solid 
to do that I have to change to the covers or bench I sell it covers or bench select this first one and shift the surface 004 here and now I click on this tool here to convert to a parametric solid okay and now I have this as you can see now I'm going to hide these points here for that first I will add a group object to the interview and group these all objects here I will click in create group icon and let's select this surface here hold shift K and select this object now I drag this all object to this group object oh sorry to this group object and I click on this icon to hide all objects now I only have this solid object in the 3D view okay and what I want to do now is to add a thickness to this 3D object for that I will use the thickness tool of part workbench I will go back to part workbench and now I will select this face here and control this face and uh, next this face here and click in thickness tool and the thickness that I want to add here is 1.4 millimeters okay and if I press ok here as you can see it's not working I get this input error here if I change to 1 millimeters and ok I still have the same problem okay if if I change here to a negative value minus one for example and click off and now press ok as you can see i still have the input error okay i will try to fix this by setting the same radius for all cylinders i will cancel the thickness tool and go to this group here expand the tree i will expand the tree of these objects these three objects now i select this cylinder 001 as you can see i have a radius of 20 i will maintain this value I'll go to cylinder 002 and change to 20 millimeters. As you can see, the model updated in the 3D view. Now I will select the cylinder and change to 20 millimeters. And as you can see, I have this. Okay, now I'm going to try to add thickness again. I will select this face, rotate the video, zoom in here, hold Ctrl key and select this face. And now this face here, and now I click on the thickness tool. As you can see, and now I will press OK. As you can see, I still have the same error, the same problem. As you can see in the sample model, I have the thickness tone. Okay. If I go to the group object, expand the tree. If I select this cylinder, as you can see, I'm using 15 millimeters for the radius for all of the cylinders. So okay. I will press OK here and cancel this operation. Go to this cylinder and change to 15 millimeters and tow. And this cylinder also to 15 millimeters of radius. And this one here to 15 millimeters. OK, now I'll try to add the thickness. I select this face here, control this face, this one here, and now the thickness tool okay and i still have this problem it's very strange because in this document it worked fine but in this document the free card program is not allowing me to create a thickness so this is the model i don't know how to solve the thickness problem in the power bench but if you find a solution for this problem you can let me know in the comments Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. If you would like to support the channel content, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to the channel's Ko-Fi page or you can support the channel buying the books that's appearing on the screen now.